Let us see this question which says Neelam rides her bicycle from her house at A to her club at C via B taking the shortest path. Then the number of possible shortest paths that you can choose is. You just go back to the previous slide and observe the question is saying Neelam has to go from the point A to the point B or rather Neelam has to go from point A to point C via B. Now we have to take the shortest path. In the question number 9 we have already discussed that the total number of ways Neelam can go from point A to point B is 90. Now we have to find out the total number of ways in which B she can go from the point B to the point C. That to have the shortest path. As we can see clearly, if Neelam has to go from the point B to point C, she has to pass through this point or this point. If I take this point to be X and this point to be Y, then the total number of ways Neelam can go from point B to Y will be 6 factorial divided by 1 factorial divided by 5 factorial. Number of ways she can go from Y to C is just 2 ways. From B to X it can only be 1 way which is state of a state this path from X to C can be only one way. The total number of ways Elam can go from B to C is nothing but product of this two plus product of this two which is 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. So, our required answer becomes from A to B 90 ways and from B to C 13 ways, which makes a total number of ways as 1170. That makes our option number 1 as the correct choice.